In a previous video, we talked about the get-disk command. We're going to use that as well as the set-disk. So we need to use these together in order to make changes. Get just gives us the information, uh, whereas set will actually make a change to the disk. So we're going to start by saying using our uh, disk number one. So we see on the left-hand side, number 012. It always starts at zero. We're going to choose disk number one because we're not actually using that for anything. So if we want to see all the different commands we can do, we can do a help and followed by a set-disk. Hit enter. And we see the list of all the different things that we can do, such as is offline, what's our throttle limit, you know, those kinds of things. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And let's clear the screen. And we'll start by saying, because we want to use that disk number one, set dash disk followed by dash number one. And we're going to say is offline. And it's going to be either false or true. Now, this is a Boolean type of response. So it's either going to be dollar sign false or dollar sign true. So I'm going to say dollar sign true. I'm going to hit enter. And now we're going to choose the get dash disk once again. And we can see that disk number one is now offline. So let's do that same command again. We'll change it to false. And that should undo what we just did. So let's go ahead and get dash disk again. And we now see that the disk is online. Let's clear our screen. And we're going to type another command for the set dash disk. So let's first do a get dash disk and see what type of partition style we're using. We can see on disk one, we're using a GPT, but we also have the option of an MBR. So let's say we're gonna switch over to MBR for some application compatibility issue, something like that. So what we're gonna type is to change from our partition from GPT to MBR. So we're gonna do a set dash disk. We're gonna do a dash number one again, and then we're going to say dash partition style, and then we're going to type in MBR. And there we go. Let's do another get dash disk and just double check. And sure enough, we've now changed our partition to MBR. There are several more different types of set disk parameters you can set, such as CIM session for a remote session. We could also set the throttle limit. By default, uh, that's not set. And you can do that to set the amount of concurrent operations that can be run at the same time. And we have lots of other things like the uh, GUID string. We can put that in if we want to change what that string is, whether or not the drive is read-only. And that's one of those true, false, Boolean options. When paired with get disk, the set disk commandlet is a very powerful and useful PowerShell utility that can be used on your Windows computer.